Hello my lovely Pisces, thank you so much for joining me Lorian for your May reading for 2018. I do apologise for the delay in this, as you may be able to see, I don't know what you can, um, but I basically very very much damaged my thumb. Um, well I didn't technically, it was my cat uh, <laughs> who decided in a very, I don't blame her at all, but it was a very big panic as a dog chased after her and she was in my hands. So she bit and scratched and I wasn't able to use my hand for a while so um, now I can do that. We're going to be using the Earth Magic Oracle, uh, Earth Magic Oracle deck <laughs> by Stephen D. Farmer because the Nature's Whispers Oracle deck is downstairs where I've been doing some Skype readings and um, they're going to be using the Earth Magic, sorry, the Druidcraft deck. I think it's the, must be the painkillers I've had over the last few weeks um, with this hand here but let's have a look and see what comes through for Pisces and hopefully there's some good news on the way for you guys if you do want a private reading with me the link is below like I said I do do Skype readings so if you want a Skype session with me that's the one to choose and this is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising sign. So it may not answer your specific questions. That's what a personal reading is normally for. Okay, let's see. Four of Cups. Two of Cups. The World. Nice. Okay. Then we have the Four of Pentacles, the Prince of Wands and the Hermit. Have you been doing some kind of inward things going on here? You seem to be a little bit like um, internalizing some stuff and maybe not being as open as you wanted to be. However, I do feel that you're going inwards to actually have this vision of yourself. You may be doing some kind of personal questing, some personal connections with people around you. Um, so I do feel that you are coming out of your shell a little bit this month. You've got two fours on this particular column. So I would say that this is about your stability. May is something that you want to reinforce your stability. You want to have that dedicated direction for where you want to go in life. So it's either you're recuperating, you're having some rest, maybe you've been through the mill a little bit with illnesses or just being overwhelmed with um, your responsibilities and being overwhelmed with other people's demands of you. And then you also have the Four of Pentacles, which is that desire for stability so I think that maybe you just want your life to be stable um you just want to have you know the rest and have the stability so you're not having to run around and worry all the time and go here and go there and go crazy at home like if you've been off work or if you've been having to deal with family or anything like that you don't want to have that pressure on your shoulders anymore you want to be able to move forwards and to be honest it does feel like you are you know focused on the things that maybe have disappointed you the things that you haven't really liked over the course of the last few weeks or maybe even the last six months um but here we also have the kind of envelopment of change so even though it's going to be stable you're kind of locking away something that kind of gave you a little bit of an issue before it could be that you're just hiding it away from the rest of the world because you don't want anybody to see your vulnerability um but i do feel like you're coming out of your shell a little bit more and you're probably going to be able to meet things head on for instance with relationships you could be finally having that partnership that kind of discussion that you need to have with this other person um to say hang on a second I need stability, please come forwards and give me that stability. It could also be that you find somebody who is a partner in crime. So it could just be somebody who's legitimately open and honest and, um, you know, somebody at work that you can really relate to. It could even be one of your friends that comes forwards and actually tells you, you know, lifts your day or gives you a sense of, um, 
lighter energy I would say but you've also got the Prince of Wands here so it could be that you're actually arranging to travel with somebody you could be arranging to travel with a friend or a partner so I think that this night in particular is saying that you have got this passion this lust for adventure I do feel like you want to have that creativity coming through it could be that you embark on a new personal project with somebody uh, or you want to or you have the encouragement from somebody close to you to take it up and actually move forward with something in particular. So it could be the fact that you are going into that kind of area. You can move forward. You can feel um, sort of the potential but the unconscious potential you know it's like whenever we go to sleep or as we're drifting to sleep our subconscious kind of goes yes and comes awake a little bit more and it gives us all the things that we need and it feeds us the information that we sometimes ignore day to day so I think that your unconscious potential is coming forwards this month and it's behaving in a way that actually allows you to kind of look at this and focus on it and be sort of yes I want to grow I want to be here I want to commit to this or I want to develop this so yeah I think that you are going to take your cue and your assurance from other people this month just because you have been in a low place you may not have been able to build up your strength to build up your confidence as well and then we have the two major arcanas which is great so you have the world and the hermit now people may say that these are two antonyms of each other but I actually feel that they work in good harmony so this is about fulfillment, things coming to your close, the beginning of a new cycle, your accomplishments. And then the Hermit is all about having that time away, having that introspection, that sort of solitude to search for yourself. So maybe when you were a bit down in the dumps or you had to be on your own, you actually figured something out for yourself. Or you are in the process of still figuring out something for yourself that allows you to see your place in the world in a different way. Or the fact that you reassured or reaffirmed that you want to get out in the world that you want to do something more that you want to accomplish more than maybe you have been able to do I mean there's no right or wrong direction for you I mean there's better and there's less good directions for you and I think a lot of it does entail like things with your attitude a lot of the time so it could be the fact that you are trying your best to I don't know, trying your best to see things from a more positive angle or, you know, kind of like the charges of electricity coming forwards for you are kind of coming forwards. But let's just have a look and see. Ooh, Princess of Swords. So this is typically the Page of Swords. Um, but this is a curiosity. This is an energy that comes forwards here. And considering she's at the bottom of the deck, this feeds up into your reading. And I would say that she's giving... Um, a lot of communication. This is typically, I remember her in the guidebook when I first got it because she was all about the internet, um, phone, long distance communication, messaging, arrangements, um, you know, like text messages, all that kind of stuff. So there's going to be a lot of that this month. And it could be arranging job interviews, arranging travel, um, looking for new beginnings for yourself. It could also be this kind of energy that's coming forward saying, look, I want change. This is very much about spring because we've got the snowdrops here and the flowers coming into bloom. So definitely around this time, you should be feeling the fact that you are being drawn into maybe another area of things and going forward a little bit more I know I just knocked the camera okay so let's have a look at what else you have coming for you in these cards here what does Pisces need whoa hello shape-shifting yay for some reason I do associate this card with Pisces I know it's about air but it does feel a little bit more like you I think because it's kind of getting the moisture, getting the kind of um, the kind of water from there and then rising above certain things. But also, people say that Pisces are very dreamy. And the one thing that I can think of that's the dreamiest of all is lying down and cloud gazing. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of like you just kind of sit there and you let your mind wander and you see the clouds shape into something different and you see Oh, what's this new? What's that? Two years ago, when I was um, outside watching the sky, as I normally do um, for midsummer, um, I saw Bast in, in the clouds, like the, the shape of the cloud was Bast. And um, 
loads of different things. You can see angel wings and things like that. So I think that you are transforming yourself in whatever you want to be seen as. You can transform in front of people's eyes. It will effectively help you as well if you have Libra in your chart somewhere. I think this is going to help you if you have Libra as well. Um, but I do believe that it's all coming together at the right time. I feel that you are making progress and you're now shape-shifting, you're transforming. Thanks to the Hermit and the time you're spending alone, I feel like you're moving into something that's beneficial for you. But my glorious Pisces, I hope this was helpful to you. Again, if you want a reading from me, click the link below. It'll take you to my website. And the Skype reading is down there if you would prefer to see me face to face. Um, also, if you would want to read the read, watch <laughs> the other statuses of your signs, like your rising or moon, please do that. And let me know in the comments below how things go for you, because I do always love to hear back from you. Um, but in the meantime, I will love you and leave you. I wish you all the very best, and I can't wait to read for you soon.